to you, Kristen. <laughs> it smells absolutely amazing in here. All right, thanks, Marquette. The following segment is sponsored by the Virginia Spine Institute, a fairly new natural treatment solution that uses the body's own healing process to repair damaged tissue has been a miracle for our next guest. We'd like to warn you that this video we are about to show you is sensitive. Sarah McCoy is a Virginia teenager who suffered a debilitating neck injury during a cheer routine. Fortunately, she has recovered from that injury and is here with us this morning to talk about it and her recovery process. And she's joined by her doctor, Natish Bahara. Welcome. Barara, I got that. You got it. Welcome. <laughs> Sarah, you're smiling, you're happy, and that's so wonderful to hear. Yeah. And um, especially after seeing that video, how are you feeling and what was the kind of the official diagnosis for you? Um, so they realized that the ligaments in my neck weren't very strong and weren't strong enough to do activities that I wanted to do. I was very active throughout high school. I did dive, cheer, and crew, and all of a sudden I had to stop everything. Mm. I couldn't go out with my friends. I couldn't get back into the activities I wanted to do. All I could do really was go home and lay down. And we realized that as a 17 year old, I shouldn't be feeling that way. Right. So we went to Virginia Spine Institute. Okay, and Dr. Barrara, what was the, what did you see with Sarah? What, what did you decide to do? Yeah, so when I initially saw Sarah, as you can see, she had an extremely traumatic right. neck injury. And so when I saw her, we made the diagnosis of cervical whiplash injury, as well as damage to the ligaments of her neck and the joints of her neck. And so we had a tough decision to make at that point. Mm -hmm. I had to decide whether Sarah needed surgery or whether we could treat her non-operatively. And so after thinking about it, it actually wasn't as hard of a decision to make. And we decided to treat her non-operatively with regenerative medicine. And so I used a substance called PRP. It's also called platelet-rich plasma. Mm -hmm. And we precisely placed it into the ligaments that were injured. And then that added stability to her spine. And then we placed it into the damaged joints. And what that did is it stimulated the healing potential that she already had in her body. And so Sarah was able to improve and get healed by itself. And she was able to get better in a, at a fraction of the downtime that she would have had if she had surgery. And surgery. Yeah. And you can see Sarah today. You know, when I saw her, she was having debilitating neck pain. She wasn't able to get back to any of the activities that she wanted to do. And then after the regenerative medicine procedure, she's now fully functional. She's able to do everything that she really wants to do. And she's smiling and obviously happy. <laughs> yep. So, but for the, this type of um, treatment, it's not just used just for injury, right? You can use it for maybe somebody that's older and lost mobility. How does it work? Absolutely. So, you know, we did this procedure on Sarah, and Sarah's young, right. but we also can do this on older patients as well. Okay. And so it's important to understand that Sarah didn't get better just because she's young. You know, we have plenty of patients in their 50s, 60s, and 70s with neck, lower back, uh, other spine-related conditions, orthopedic conditions that get better and have the same life-changing results that Sarah had. That's amazing, and a lot of people don't want to undergo surgery, especially when it comes to the spine, because they, and they don't have the time for that downtime. So what do patients need to know about this, uh, this type of treatment, the regenerative? Well, yeah, so you know, regenerative medicine is revolutionizing spine and orthopedic care. Before, and traditionally, we've always treated orthopedic conditions and spine conditions with cortisone injections, which never get down to the root cause of the problem. Or just mask the, the, the pain, right? Absolutely. Or we treat it surgically, which is an artificial treatment to, to, to fix the problem. But with regenerative medicine, we're able to naturally heal the root cause of the problem. And we're able to do it with a fraction of the downtime, with minimal potential complications, and we're able to get people back fully functional. And that's what's so great about regenerative medicine. And when you're looking for a consult in regenerative medicine, you want to go to a, a doctor that is trained in regenerative medicine, mm -hmm. somebody that um, can really offer you a wide range of regenerative medicine procedures. We mentioned PRP, but that's just one of the, one of the, one of the therapies that are out there. Oh, okay. There's stem cells that are derived from bone marrow. Right. There's something called prolotherapy. There are a lot of different regenerative medicine procedures. You want to go to somebody that can talk to you about all those procedures because there's not one procedure that will fix all problems. Right. The body is a powerful thing. It is. I mean, we all have that ability to heal, and you're, you're, you're able to stimulate that, as the words you said. And so, Sarah, you're here. 
Um, what was the experience like for you? I mean, just knowing that you can kind of be Sarah again. It was great. It just felt like a whole new life again. <laughs> I really wanted to do everything once I felt better. I wanted to go out with my friends. I wanted to go to like lacrosse games and the student faculty basketball game. I just wanted to really live as much as I could. <laughs> it's amazing that it's just that one injury. I mean, it's a traumatic injury, but it just takes away not just the the sports side of things but just the social side i mean yeah you, you we take that for granted and we never know when something can happen so i love that you're able to live your life that you should be able to as a teenager so what's next for you um i'm going to james madison university and i'm going to do air force rotc while there nice yes. congratulations <laughs> thank you and for you um dr Barrar, just to see your patient smiling and knowing that like you have been able to have a a role in her just living her fullest life. It's amazing. It's amazing because when I initially saw her, you know, she had, first she was emotional. She had a very difficult time right. doing everything. And now you look at her and, and she looks like nothing ever happened to her. So it's truly amazing. Well, Sarah, we're happy to have you smiling. And Dr. Barrar, Thank thanks you. so much for, for bringing this information to us and, and helping our community. We appreciate it. This segment was sponsored by the Virginia Spine Institute. And to find out if you're a candidate for regenerative medicine, you can reach out to them at 703 709 1114 or go to spine md.com run your home like you mean business